Hey GC, welcome to GC TV. I'm Katie Watson here with Abby Forsyth. If you're interested in building relationships between the youth and the community and encouraging more teens to use the library, the Teen Advisory Board sounds like a good program for you. TAB is a place where teens who love to read come together in a friendly, fun environment. To be a member, all you have to do is be a student in grades 6 through 12, have parent permission, and hold a Graves County Public Library card. Applications are due Thursday, September 4th. When absent from school, you must have a parent or guardian call on the day of the absence. In addition, please bring a note or doctor excuse in the morning when you return to school. Turn that note into Ms. Puckett, who will be sitting at the table in the front desk check-in area. Failure to follow this procedure will result in an unexcused absent. The Miss Generation pageant and silent auction will be held November 22nd at 2 p.m. at Trace Creek Baptist Church. The silent auction will include items plus services from Purchase Ford, 31, Mary Kay, Avon, So Stitch and Cute, and many more. Join Grace County Public Library for Teen Movie Night tomorrow at 5 p.m. as they watch Divergent. The boys' soccer team is looking for two to three students to be managers this year. If you are interested, please see Coach Sims in the gym during break tomorrow. Grace County High School recently accepted two American flags from Women of the World. Field agents Teresa Dunaway and Greg Smith donated these new flags. You can see them in this picture with Eagle football players Heath Wiggins and Cody Kreider. Each year when flags become worn, Woodman of the World replaces the flags at GCHS free of charge. One flag will fly over the school while the other will fly over the football field this upcoming season. During the break, special tips for freshmen by Tania Fair and Shelby Carter. And Logan Whaley looks ahead to your fall sports. Hey GC, I'm sure you've noticed several changes at the beginning of this school year, one being our new exit from the back parking lot that'll take you out to Jimtown Road. Again, it's exit only. For GCTV, I'm Libby Warren. What's up GC? Our football team had their first scrimmage of the year as they traveled to Fort Campbell High School to play Clarksville Rossview. While we don't have any stats for the game, the score tells us that our Eagles dominated the Hawks. The Eagles won by a score of 27 to nothing. Our golf teams will host Murray High and Ballard Memorial today. Good luck, guys. And last but not least, our Lady Eagle volleyball team will kick off their season tonight as they will host CCA starting at 7 tonight. Come on out to support your Lady Eagles. That's all we have in today's sports action. For GCTV Sports, I'm Logan Whaley. Welcome to Freshman Tips. You must take up all the spots on the stage in the Commons to anger the upperclassmen who have patiently waited their turn. Make sure to get in everyone's way you possibly can. <laughs> Don't show up to your classes. You're too cool for that. Don't wear deodorant. Please smell! Always overcrowd the main stairwell. The back stairwell is never an option. Walk super slow like a turtle in the hallway. Don't talk to anyone. Keep your head down. This is Tania with your weather. Today we have scattered thunderstorms, a high of 82, a low of 67, and 60% 60 chance of rain. Tuesday is mostly sunny with a high of 88 and a low of 69. Wednesday there are scattered thunderstorms with a high of 88, a low of 71, and 40% chance of rain. 
Thursday, there will be morning thunderstorms with a high of 91, low of 72, and 40% chance of rain. Friday, there are scattered thunderstorms with a high of 91, a low of 73, and 40% chance of rain. Have a great week. Portraits will be taken at Wells Studios. There are two more sessions available. Seniors need to call 270-247-1851 to schedule their appointments. Do not show up without an appointment. If you have any questions, see Ms. Hunter in BO5. If you want to go to any of the Eagle sports games this year, a sports pass is for you. It only costs $22 and it gets you into all Graves County home games this year. All sports except for tournaments. For more information, you can talk to Coach Elliott. If you have not done so already, you can complete the online application for free and reduced meals by going to the Grace County Schools homepage. Once, you, once you're there, click on the Parents tab. Then you'll see the free and reduced meals application. The district asks that all families complete this application, whether you think you will qualify or not. The process takes 10 minutes or less. If you have any questions, please contact Food Service Director Shalina McClain at 270-328-1548. Attention seniors, Wendy's is looking for the next class of remarkable students who excel in academics, athletics, and community involvement. The 2014 Wendy's High School Heisman Award application process is underway. Now through October 3rd, class of 2015 seniors can apply at wendyshighschoolheisman.com. To be eligible, a student must maintain at least a boy a B grade point average, participate in one of the 27 sports officially sanctified by the National Federation of State High School Associations, and just demonstrate active involvement in his or her community. Apply today. That's wendyshighschoolheisman.com. Don't wait until the last minute. Get a head start on the community service hours at the Grace County Library on September 24th and October 3rd. See Ms. Horn or Ms. Colley in the Youth Service Center for more information. Reminder, all cards need to be removed in the back parking lot by 310 for band practice. That's all for today. For GCTV, I'm Abby Forsyth. And I'm Katie Watson. Have a great rest of the day.